Good morning, Soaring Eagles. Welcome back to the 35th day of the school year. Today is Monday, October 5th, 2020. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stand for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may be seated. Celebrating birthdays this past Saturday were Natalie and Miss McMahon's class, Felipe and Mrs. Stradle's class, and Michaela and Mr. Jens's class. We hope you had a great birthday. There were no birthdays on Sunday, but celebrating birthdays today is Hannah and Mrs. Huggins' class. Happy birthday! For lunch today, we will have chicken tenders with homemade roll or macaroni and cheese with homemade roll, fresh salad and well butter snack, mashed potatoes, or fresh vegetables. For breakfast tomorrow, we will have French toast sticks with cereal or Nutri-Grain bar, fruit juice or fresh fruit. Today, the high will reach 84 degrees and we will have a low tonight of 59 degrees with clear and sunny skies throughout the day. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to Motivational Monday. It is the month of October, and it is Dyslexia Awareness Month. So I wanted to take a minute to just talk to you about what dyslexia is, because chances are you know somebody who has it, or you have it yourself. So to keep it simple, dyslexia is a condition that makes it really difficult to read. A lot of times, um, people who have dyslexia see words differently, or they see letters reversed. Uh, it can make it really hard for them to spell. They may make mistakes when they read. But the important thing that you need to understand about dyslexia it has nothing to do with how smart somebody is. Usually people with dyslexia are incredibly intelligent because they have to work so stinking hard to overcome their dyslexia. They have to be creative. They have to be really good problem solvers. And they are pretty amazing individuals with pretty amazing brains. So I encourage you this month to learn more about what dyslexia is. If you know somebody who has it, ask them questions about what it's like and how they overcome theirs because there is no cure for it. It is not something that you grow out of. It is something that you deal with for your entire life. So take a moment to um, spotlight these incredible individuals and learn more about what dyslexia is. And then Mrs. James, who is our dyslexia support teacher, would be more than happy to teach you more about it as well. So I hope that that's motivational for you, that there are a lot of your peers out there who are incredible, amazing individuals, and I think that it would be important for us to learn more about them. All right, guys, have an amazing Monday. Bye. Just a few friendly reminders to our students who are now coming in person. Please continue to wash your hands for 20 seconds before lunch and when you go to the bathroom and as much as possible throughout the day. No hugs or handshakes and keep your space as much as possible. Wear masks to cover your mouth and nose completely and stay home if you feel sick. Today is National Child Health Day. Remember different ways that you can stay healthy, including eating fresh fruits and vegetables, drinking lots of water, getting plenty of sleep every night, and getting sunshine, fresh air, and exercise every day. Stay healthy, Soaring Eagles.